Hey cloud admins and developers, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. Let's create a new Kubernetes namespace, deploy a pod to it, and set it as the default. You can view the list of current namespaces by issuing the command kubectl get namespaces. Upon running this command, you should at least see default, kube public, and kube system listed. Let's create a namespace called staging. To do that, Open a terminal window on your Kubernetes controller and issue the command kubectl create namespace staging. The kubectl command will report back the namespace has been created. Now that we've created our namespace, how do we deploy to it? That's easy. Say you want to deploy an Nginx pod to the new staging namespace. For that, you would issue the command kubectl run nginx dash dash image equals nginx dash dash namespace equals staging. The kubectl command will report back that your pod has been created. To ensure the pod was in fact deployed to the staging namespace, issue the command kubectl get pods dash dash namespace equals staging. The kubectl command will report back that the nginx pod is running. Let's say you've created a namespace you intend to always use as your default. Instead of having to use the dash dash namespace equals option in your deployment management commands, you could always set that new namespace as the default. To do that, you would issue the command kubectl config set dash context dash dash current dash dash namespace equals namespace, where namespace is the name of the namespace you wish to use as the default. Now, if you were to deploy that Nginx pod to the staging namespace, which we've set as our default, the command would simply be kubectl run Nginx dash dash image equals nginx. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.